Okay, Diamonds, this is your teacher, Usman Ali, lecturer at Cardan University. If you remember, in our previous video, we actually, uh, we, we actually did how to create uh, an, uh, what you say, an estimate. And uh, once your estimate is created, then I told you that you had to wait actually for your customer's reply. Let's suppose we do receive a reply now from the customer, and this reply is a very positive reply. So now it's the time to create a sales order. By creating a sales order, I actually, it means that one, I have officially promised my my customer that I will supply these product on this rate with this terms and conditions to you on that on a specific date one second while creating a sales order I actually officially uh, what you say uh, plans to to start working on this sales order also and that sales order maybe it's like that I have to manufacture it first and then deliver it maybe it's just that that I just have to fulfill do a sales order fulfillment sheet for that thing and tell my stores manager store in charge that these these products should be actually packed and delivered on this particular address so we, we will shortly go to the fulfillment worksheet but our video right now focuses on how to create a sales order so to create one as you can see you have to click first on the customers menu and then you will actually go and click on the create and sales order now the preface of the sales order you can see it's exactly the same as actually of your estimates one okay now for which customer you're gonna create a sales order that was actually the Nazhat Saib so I clicked on Nazhat Saib the complete detail the addresses everything comes here if this sales order I, I want to actually uh, mail it on a different address like this is the uh, address of the Nazhat Saib if let's suppose I want to uh, go for a different uh, address what I can do is that I can just manually change it I can add a new address here whatever address I want to type in I will just add it press ok and that address will come here so that invoice will automatically be mailed to this address one second now this sales order actually which uh, I am creating for sure this is a sales order for me but this same document is a purchase order from a customer my customer actually officially sent me a document and that the name of that document is a purchase order from him and that's for sure that my cu my customer must have uh, given a unique identification number to that purchase order whatever that number is present on that document we're gonna type it here so let's suppose he wrote there MW123 so I will just see it on my customers purchase order I gonna just type it here or copy or paste it here that's it then uh, what item uh, actually uh, he has asked for he asked for motherboard how much quantity of motherboard he has actually ordered or requested for 100 quantity now the unit of measurement for motherboard is each the rate which actually I gonna charge um, uh, the my customer is 21 each if you remember in our previous video one was 15 and one was 21 15 was our cost 21 is our selling price 6 was 600 actually was if you remember was our profit okay so uh, the, the point here is that when you actually multiply 100 with 21 it gives you the total money and then the quickbook ask from me that sir this sales is a taxable sale or a non-taxable sale so now that we know the taxes concept we have created a sales tax item so we will say yep it is a sales tax item which type of uh, sales tax item it is it is a gst tax which is five percent we created one so 2100 is the bill amount and 105 is actually the tax amount so 2100 plus 105 the total bill is actually 2205 and we can actually submit any note here if if there is any okay so that's it once it is done uh, this is how actually you create a sales order I have created one I will click on save yeah it's done so sales order is actually created now it's the time to inform the concerned person maybe it's the production manager is the concerned person maybe the guy is actually the the inventory manager is the concerned person whoever the concerned person is now my job is actually to inform that person and tell him that okay you had to deliver motherboards hundred in quantity to this address within this time frame that's it 
I hope you like the video folks stay safe